All right, got them disassembled on this ring and pin that we showed the other day. Here's the pinion. Holy shit. I have not seen a contact patch that big since my helicopter days working in the aerospace industry. This shit is unreal. Sitting really high and needs to be a little lower and this pinion needs to be pulled out more. And the shim depth for the ring, I know it was not done properly because there was barely any shim in there at all. So there's lots to go through on this. You can see the contact patch here on the interior, on the back side. The roots are okay, never made contact, but it was getting close to it. But you can see that it's actually offset and riding a little high and more towards the top, especially on the back side. You see that there. So, in other words, this is a pile of shit now. So we are going to upgrade to this other ring and pinion set we just got in. It's much more refined, it's a much nicer piece. I don't know that to get more information here pretty soon on it. Uh, but we're going to go through and coat the ring and the pinion this week and get all the case stuff cleaned up and checked out. The case shim for the pinion from the case point to the main side of the case that actually controls the overall pinion depth in there. There's quite a bit of shim stuck between the casing to actually get your, your depth here, but as far as the cage from here to the top, there wasn't much at all. So there's a lot of things going on with this, with what we're uh, what we're finding out. But uh, I'm go through and make it right. Let's see if I can show you the back side of this. If you can see this, you, know, you can see all this wear. So my finger comes in here. You see how it's more towards the tip end here. It needs to be more inset and down a little bit more. It needs to be right there in the middle. So what was stated is that. Since this ring and pinion was coated, when they put everything together, they couldn't verify wear pattern. So they literally told the guy that we can't tell whether this thing had for wear pattern in this or not because it's had, so we're not even gonna attempt to even try to put layout fluid in here and, and verify it. We're just gonna tell you that uh, we just can't do it because um, maybe we're lazy. I mean, shit, I don't know. But it's time to go in and fix it what we do what we try to do at least but you can see the wear on this thing I mean it's pretty bad I think that uh, having this stuff coated with the stuff that we used on this which was a high pressure system uh, with the coating that we applied on here uh, coupled with the type of gear roll that we had used um, it's the only thing that really saved this thing from actually getting into catastrophic failure um, you know it doesn't have many miles on it I can tell didn't take many miles to put this kind of damage to it so we will be going through and fixing this hopefully this week or next week and get it out of here uh, should be a simple simple job to get this going through we got a whole bunch of stuff from strange that came in to fix this and then uh, we'll get it sent out to the customer so that's the progress report on the ring opinion debacle big fat poop <laughs>